Alrighty, guys, I'm back, and I think we want to take on that death bird, the last one in the game, that just killed me. So let's do that. And then after that, then we'll go back and do the things I haven't done. Like, we'll probably f kill the mature Morningstar Beast, as well as Riker. And then we will probably go to that town over there that opens up the path to Haley Tree. And, uh, and that'll be the game, right? So let's do it. Oh, what the fuck? A dangerous area. So what prompts the spawning of the death bird? Does it have to be night? But I can't tell if it's night here or not. I guess not because he's not here, right? I guess we gotta come back. Hmm. That sucks. I'm gonna figure out when it's night. Look what time of day is it right now? I don't fucking know. Until nightfall. Okay. Such a weird mechanic, because is it really used that much in this game? I don't think so, right? I don't feel like it's ever really utilized that much. Only a few minor times. So I guess I can't do it, because I can't fucking see. You stupid game. Hold on, let me get away from him. Tried to roll. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. God damn it, man. Yeah, I wonder why I can't do it. I can't see. The fucking camera keeps fucking up, so I can't even put down my magic shit to hit this fucking guy. How annoying. And by the way, I forgot I had 170,000 fucking souls or whatever. Right? I totally forgot, so I didn't use them. Well, you're not there now, because now it's not, uh... Now it's not nighttime. I'm gonna go get my stuff and use it. This is so annoying. All I want to do is set up my thing and see if I can nuke him. No, you can't because the camera's fucking stuck in your face. So you can't even see where the fuck you are. You annoying piece of shit. Alright, let's go use these first. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, I mean, now I have a choice. I could go for intelligence, which has been, uh, dipped a bit, right? I could keep going for endurance if I want to keep upping my poise and stuff. Uh, I think I, I should maybe do intelligence a bit more now. Only because, uh, it dipped, like, three. Yeah. Yeah, passing time on every Deathbird run is also annoying, I agree. Yeah, definitely not enough to level. <clears throat> okay. Good good point. Mortarian says, try to posture break him, then when he's down, then try to do the comic. Good point. But the problem then is I won't be able to do all the setup. I'll only be able to do part of the setup. But it still might work with this new thing that I've got going anyway. With that, the new, uh consecutive hits flask, it might still kill him anyway, even without the crest that I put on the ground, or the rune on the ground. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna posture break him. That means it's gonna be, uh, rock sling. Why 
Why can't I cast a spell? Uh, why can't I cast a spell? What the fuck is going on? Look. I can't, why can't I cast a spell right now? Oh, because I'm on the horse and you can't cast a spell unless you swap? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, it's night. Where is it? It's fucking nighttime. annoying. The arena sucks. I keep hitting the wall. not work at all. See, there's not enough time to do it. I can't move because there's a fucking stupid octopus. I can't see. Huh? I couldn't cast another spiral. I did, and he just stood there and didn't do it. And then he died. Fucking super annoying. Oh, I gotta change the time of day again. No, I had him, and he wouldn't cast a second spiral. I was doing it. He just wouldn't do it. He just stood there like an idiot, even though he had the stamina and he had the FP. He just wouldn't do it. He just fucking gotta be a moron. Okay. No, I can't drink the flask when the fight is just starting because it's going to run out. The consecutive hits runs out fast. It says right on it. So the consecutive hits has to be used right after drinking the flask, so... I've got to drink the flask and then do the combat azure right off the bat. I took... Fuck you! I took damage! Are you kidding? God, this game really wants to be annoying right now. I took damage from that? Come on, fuckhead, where are you? Hello? Don't target him, target the giant fucking bird. Well, can't use it at all.
dodge. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love that the fucking octopus had to interject itself into the fight just to screw me over. You know? Like, oh, gee, thanks. Thanks, asshole. Uh. I'm trying to clue something. Hold on. Look how dumb this is being. Hold on a second. I got a stupid pop-up on the other screen. It's something dumb. I just have to close it. Might as well just fight it with the fucking rocks and say, forget everything else. Just rock it and then stab it, right? Why even bother with the other shit? It's not working because it's just gonna keep being stupid things interrupting the fight. Okay. talking I did okay Targeted him in the middle of the fight, which is really stupid. Damn, 220,000. Explosive Ghost Flame. Alright, cool. Pretty uh, dumb that it untargeted him in the middle of the fight, but we got it done. Alright. Uh, uh. Excuse me. Next. On to the next. El Grey Zoro says, I use the Jellyfish Shield my entire playthrough. It has the ability to increase your damage by 20% for 20 seconds. Hmm. Interesting. enough. I 
not be. Oh my fuck. Are there any enemies nearby I can kill fast? <laughs> Stupid thing. It's a great sword. The eyes were lit up, so it was a chaos infused. That should be enough. Rickety shield. Amazing. Rickety shield. What are you calling? I killed all your friends. <laughs> Alright, that should be enough to level. Hmm. Alright. This should be the final. Yep, so now I'm back to 63 intelligence, which is where I was before I lost some intelligence by swapping the uh, hats. <clears throat> so now we go back to endurance after this. Well, let's see here. Let's see what we can do. I know this guy's fast as shit.
that shit, bitch. Power of the meteor you came from just killed your ass. <laughs> Somber Smithing Stone 6, Smithing Stone 6, and a Falling Star Beast's Jaw. <clears throat> Well done. Nicely done. Used to be a nice little mountaintop that got ruined when he landed in his uh, meteor. So what are the levels of evolution of that thing? It starts off as a little creature, right? Then becomes a mature falling star beast. Eventually it becomes Astol. And those are the aliens that are all glintstone magic is based off of, right? More starlight shards. That's what we call irony, exactly. A, a, a falling star beast killed by a falling star. Get crushed, bitch. Here you go. Wow, he gives you like nothing. Dude, 21,000 runes, yikes. I mean, of course, it's supposed to be way earlier in the game, but that's like nothing. Is it Riker time? I mean... I actually don't remember how to get to Riker. Does anyone remember? What would be... What would be... The fast travel point that I used to get to Riker. Does anyone remember it at all? Because <laughs> there's like 10 of them here. <clears throat> so I don't remember which one is the one. I need some advice on where to go here. Like a caterpillar to a butterfly, sure. <laughs> Am I using this build for the DLC only for the beginning? And then once we start getting new weapons and items in the DLC, I want to respect to start using them. So it'll just be for the start. Oh, there's nothing else to do after Riker but go to Millennia, so no worries there. Yeah, I don't remember how to get to Riker. I've completely forgotten. It's not the church, is it? It's not the terminus, is it? I don't remember. How the fuck do you get to him? Yeah, we're already at him. We already unlocked Riker, and we're fought, we fought him, but I couldn't beat him, so I stopped trying. But I don't remember where I need to go to do it. I don't remember where you go to, to do the boss fight again out of these fast travel points. Like, we're here is the boss arena. Is this the boss arena? If that's the case, then it's probably guest hall, right? Oh my god. I'm just gonna fast travel to guest hall and see if I can figure it out. <laughs> Instead of sitting here all day. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think this is it. This definitely doesn't look like it. Nope. Uh, how the fuck do I get to Riker? Prison Town Church? This is where I fought. Uh, I don't remember at all. I really don't remember this. It's been too long. Isn't it? Nope. It's over there, isn't it? Don't you cross the bridge and it's in there? I think that's how you get to it. So maybe it's the Sea the Water Terminus? <clears throat> no, this is Mount Gelmer. <laughs> That's not it. Fuck. Temple of El Aigle? Maybe it's Temple of Aigle. Yeah, this is where we fought the god skin guy. Yup. And this is where you see his giant skin. Where he, he uh, you know, the snake skin. Where he shed his skin. But how do I get to him from here? Lady Tanith will send you there. Okay. You say so. I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. 
A serpent bone blade. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this. But well, we already did this. We already Lord fought him. Rikard, I lost. That's why I wanted to come back and do it later. The tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The tarnished were forced to scavenge. I get it. I know we already fought him in this run. Like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering, our lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps. Okay, we already know his story. We are with, we at the if By the way, we already lord, burned the Ur tree. Dariah's form. Did you see her? The girl, Raya. With her true face. Mm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Please. That's it. She was she does not take me to him. That's false. And yes, I technically I should have the special item, correct? The 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 special spear, right? I don't know what it looks like though. God skin stitcher. God skin peeler. Staffs? I'm so confused. I don't even know what's what. Serpent Hunter. Here it is. Told you. I have it. I have the Serpent Hunter. I just don't know how the fuck you get back to him. You go to the... I do. You temple of Elge? I thought so. That's where I was. I was at Temple of uh, Iglay or whatever. I thought that's what it was. <clears throat> What's up, Gatsu? Good to have you here. I hope that you do have chill vibes here on the stream. So, what the fuck do I do now? This is, this is what sucks is you don't play this for a while. I don't remember anything, right? It's here. Up here, right? All the way through. You have to run all the way through to get to him, right? Right? Or am I wrong? Do we have to run this way and run all the way up and through? Or do we... Is there a quick way to do this? I don't remember at all. It's not this way, right? There's just items up here, I think. Oh, I took no damage. I think there's just items up there. Oh, my God. The thing is, I think once you, if you get to him, then you, there's a Snake America, so you don't have to keep redoing this walk. But man, this is annoying that you have to do this walk. Can you beat him without the spear? Like, can you beat him without the gimmick spear? Could I nuke him? That would be impressive. I nuke his ass. He can't even do anything because he's so big. He just stands there and takes it like a champ. <laughs> then again, there are two forms, so it's probably not going to work. Alright, once we do this once, I don't think we have to do it again. You know what I mean? These, these cool legacy designs. Like, what an awesome dungeon this is, right? All the stuff to explore, the awesome visuals. It's so well done. It's so much better than the open world. I don't like the open world. I love these, these stages. Oh, thanks for smacking my ass through the fucking wall, you dickhead. I do this crazy fucking run to get to him, right? All the fucking way this way. <clears throat> you missed. <laughs> 
This is how you get to him. And then there, I think there's a stake, so if you die, you keep redoing it. <clears throat> yep, here we are. What was this one? Audience pathway? Had I not sat at it? Oh my god, I didn't sit at it in the first time. Oh my god. I hadn't sat at it. That's why I didn't have it. I, I fought him and I didn't sit at the grace? Well, that's... Wow. Okay, then. Well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? I'm gonna try to nuke him just for fun. I don't think it's going to work. But I'm gonna try to nuke him with Comet Azure. I don't think it'll work, though. does work, it just didn't target properly. targeted properly, it would have killed them. He's the wrong one. He's not dead. Second form. Yeah, the manual aiming would have been better because it aimed for his head and it made it aim. If he aimed straight, I would have melted him. But he aimed up. So I'm going to try that again, but aim straight. Now, here's the disgusting part. This is so gross. I don't have enough to beat him this run. I don't have enough resources, but... Oh, very well. Uh, like, you killed the, the fucking s snake, you bastard. The blasphemous blade. Such a good weapon. I don't know when to sta how to hit him when he's staggered, when he's down there as a snake. I don't know what you're supposed to do. There's no, no stagger point to do the visceral. Maybe you're not supposed to. Disgusting freak. Yeah. 
How do I stagger him? I stagger him? How do I hit him? He's in the lava. You can't hit him. I'm gonna be out of magic. Thank you, got you, got you. Six months as a member. This is rock steady and reliable content. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I want to see if I can beat him without the Serpent Hunter. Because I was close, right? I was damn close. What I need to do is not aim for his head, but aim for the body when I nuke him at the beginning here. <clears throat> I think I could kill him. Let me do it now. Can't do it. Sucked. They would not let me hit him. I tried. He just keep interrupting, so... Worked the first time though, so I'm gonna try again. Uh, better swapping out sword and with meteorite staff could be a good point, since the sword isn't really doing anything. I guess we'll try that. First time. The first time he just didn't hit me to interrupt it. This time he's just hitting me and interrupting it constantly. Right? So what was I just lucky the first time? 
right? Was I seriously just lucky the first time that he didn't hit me? Was it that I was a certain distance, perhaps? <clears throat> it seems like it. Let me try it from different distances. Must have been luck. Then again, I did luck onto the head that time. Maybe I need to luck onto the head and it'll work. How did it work so well the first time? And now it won't work at all. <laughs> okay, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Ready? I think this is a better idea. Kind of work. I just, I don't think it was aimed properly to do as much damage as I would like, but it did kind of work. Wait, why is my staff, why was my staff away? I don't know why I'm getting hit because I dodged. do it out of MP again. Yep, I'm out of MP again. I just can't beat him. I don't have MP. It 
sucks. I want to do it this way, but I can't. I just, I don't have the MP to do it. The only thing I can think of is don't use this flask until phase two, right? And then in phase two, when he's down, then use it. But I just, I don't see a way to have enough MP to do this. I see, I need another flask or two, you know? And I need to dodge the attacks too. That's the other thing. I have to stop having to use so many heals. In fact, how about this? Excuse me. <clears throat> do this, and I'll try to do better at dodging his attacks. And I'm going to try to beat him legit phase one. Right? And then phase two is when I'm going to try to down him and stun him and then use the flask and then use like a, a nuke. <clears throat> I don't know what frost mist is. I have no idea. <laughs> Do I have frost mist? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I rolled and got stuck on one of the walls. This is just so annoying. I was already in a cast animation. There was no way I could get out of it. I was already in a cast animation. Basically, his grab animation is much faster than my cast animation. So he has a free grab whenever he wants it.
sucks, man. It sucks because I don't want to use the spear. I'm trying to do something creative and different. I want to beat him legit instead of using the stupid spear. It's like you just, you're going to run out and it just stinks because it's just like you should think you should be able to hit this guy with all your big, big spells. He's fucking move. He comes, he jumps back, right? Into the, into the flyer and then you're, you, they don't reach. You would think that meteor spell should melt him. I can't, I can't even hit him with it. He moved, you know, very frustrating. What frost spells do I have? I don't know. I don't really particularly want to start using frost spells now, but... Uh... Frozen Armament and Xamor Ice Storm. That's it. Yep. That's it. I don't even know where you get the ice spells from. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. And then I'm gonna probably just start using the spear. It's like I fucking rolled and I even did it with the timing so the release would be at the right spot. It fucking grabs you anyway. <laughs> My god, dude. spell mist for no reason. The whole meteor spell mist for no reason because he got interrupted by literally nothing. There's nothing there to hit me and the fuck- Look, I can walk in the lava and nothing hits me, but when I cast the spell, something hits me. Stupid shit. I got a $5 tip. From Zixtow. Are you going to play the DLC with your magic build character? I, I just answered that. I'm going to start the DLC with this character, but as soon as we find uh, something to change it, like for example, let's say the first weapon we find is a great sword, then I'm going to go respec to use that great sword. That's what I want to do is I want to try out all the new things that are in the DLC. So whatever we find, that's what I'm going to focus on. Okay. But I mean, yeah, I have to start with this character. I'm not playing the fucking game over from the start, obviously. I'm going to use this character to start the DLC and then mix it up. Ever dealt that much damage to me before? Nope. Not once. He's never dealt that much damage to me before. Not a single time. Why did he deal that much damage to me that time? I have no fucking idea. The game just does what it wants sometimes, I guess. You tell me. <laughs> you fucking tell me what's going on.
So much fun. What a fun boss. No healing left. I can't even see the fight. His snake head attacks now. He gets his snake head attacks now. Sure it does. Well, I tried my best. There's no way I can do it. You need to have too many resources. You need to have more flash. I don't even have enough. I would have to, basically what I have to do is literally dodge every single hit so I don't ever have to heal. Then I would have enough flasks to actually do the uh, the magic. I can't, I, I keep running out of magic. I don't have enough magic to finish him and they won't let me use the big spells because the, the stage is built so annoyingly. Oh, there's lava under you. So if you try to do one, you just get hit by a fly and you can't actually cast it, right? So I'm not gonna waste time anymore. I'm just gonna use the stupid fucking spear, which is so dumb and so boring But it's the only way to beat him unless you want to sit here for fucking hours with a million fucking flasks Micromanaging each little piece. It just sucks. I hate gimmick fights in games I always have and this is the worst one. Well, like everyone said, oh, I love this fight. I actually hate it This is actually probably my least favorite fight in the game because you can't have fun Playing it with your build you have to fuck around with a stupid build to beat it. So I'm just gonna put everything into healing. Okay. So now how do you use this spear? We two-hand it, right? There's no point in one-handing it, you two-hand it. And you just do weapon ability. Yeah, right? When you're in there it works, I believe. And that's the big thrust, it'll go like a big attack, right? Right? So I guess that's what we do. We don't need any magic recharge. We just do it this way, right? All right. 
Well, let's split the part. When we come back, we'll do it.